I grow up, I want to be a pirate, a lawyer, and a fireman. Fast forward just a few years later, and the fireman thing isn't going to happen. And does anyone really want to be a lawyer? But there's something about the pirate thing that still persists. Think about it. Quitting your soul-sucking job, ripping up the bills, and trading crowded train platforms for exotic ports, barrels of rum, and a pet monkey. So imagine my surprise when I came face to face with this. Was it a sign from God or a human trafficking scheme? So after some phone calls and a few emails, I scored an interview with the would-be captain of the peacemaker himself, 85-year-old Van Volmer. So a few months ago, this appeared all around Brooklyn in the city. Brooklyn sea captain seeking a crew, a longtime Brooklyn contractor, 40 plus years, assembling a 12 person paid crew, paid underline, for a two year excursion around the world, taking the Peacemaker, 158 foot, three masted, help me out, Barquentine? Barquentine. Barquentine, on the adventure of a lifetime, hiring mature, dedicated, compassionate individuals to come together as a team to fulfill the following roles. And there's various things listed here. Ideally looking for someone 25 to 60 in excellent health, a team player, trustworthy, mentally stable, drug-free, non-smoker, willing to learn. So I'm assuming that you are the captain. I'm gonna be the captain. Everybody is paid crew, and we're gonna do things that everybody dreams about. Diving on the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, chasing sunken treasure. We uh, are gonna visit Hawaii, Bali, uh, all of the exotic ports in the South Pacific. The workday is very simple. Everybody got to be up and at them by seven o'clock. Everybody who comes with us will be required mm -hmm. to take a correspondence course. And if you want to come, put your application in with a couple of pictures. Okay. But you better get a haircut. And when a storm comes, man, the boat goes, whoo. Boom! I was on an aircraft carrier and a storm would go up and come down and shudder. Captain Volmer is a super guy, but a dry cruise with homework is not my idea of life on a boat. If climate change is really melting the ice caps, forcing us land lovers onto the high seas, I want to be less Swiss Family Robinson and more Lonely Island. Monica's discovered an island of tranquility on the coast of the concrete jungle and welcomed me to the Nay Boat Hood. Brian, good to meet nice you. Nice to too. meet you. Brian. Pleasure. Welcome to the boat life. Thank you for having us. We finally arrived. This is gonna be epic. Okay, so I lost my gold necklace and my stunner shades, <laughs> but we're still on a boat. That's How it. did you find yourself on a boat in the middle of Brooklyn? You know, it's a very long story. I'm going to make it short, but yes. quite honestly, I, I've been through a 10 year relationship that ended pretty bad. I was couch surfing for several months and a friend of mine uh, that I've known for a long time actually said uh, he had a boat and uh, wanted me to stay on it. So I had somewhere to stay and uh, the first day I came here and we had a few beers and he's like, do a trial run, spend the first night here. And right. the next day when I woke up after a few Guinnesses in, I, I looked outside, I'm like, oh my God, I'm on a boat. And uh, I freaked out. And then uh, I ended up staying here for a while, renting it out, right. and then I, I ended up buying it. The City Parks Department charges $125 per linear foot in yearly dockage fees. So expect to pay $5,000 a year for a 40-foot boat. That's just about $416 a month, no roommates. So why isn't everyone living here? In a word, 
It's cold. All right, it's about 1.40 in the morning. It was a successful first day on the boat. I've never spent the night on a boat before, but when the crew left, we had some burgers, maybe one or two beers, uh, and just chilled. One of the boat neighbors came over. There's actually a couple staying on the next boat who are visiting from Munich, Germany, uh, and they're staying on like an Airbnb boat that's docked next door. It's pretty cool. It's not a bad neighborhood, so it was a great day. I'm gonna do a little light reading. I'm almost done before bed, and then uh, we'll see you in the morning. So I'm waking up on a boat. First time I've ever said that. It was a night of first. The first time I was on a boat, the first time I slept on a boat, and I'm waking up to all of this. I don't know how to open the door. I'm waking up to all of this, and it is about eight in the morning, and I can't open the door. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on a boat, and I'm waking up to all of this. Ah. Seriously, the quietest night of sleep I've ever had. I'm a very light sleeper, but I slept on a boat, and it was amazing. Look at what I'm waking up to. Van and Monica have found their place in the world on the water. And while it definitely fuels my escapist daydreams, I think I'm going to stay on dry land just a little while longer. At least until summer rolls back around. But then, I'm on a boat!